I was I was busking on one of the streets with like an 808 drum machine, and uh, I happened to be busking in posing corner with a 303, and, and and all of a sudden like the beats started matching and, and syncopating, and, and it was just like uh, love at first sight. And that was our first track, Man Hooker. You might have seen it on the, the video, heard it on the radio. Yeah, yeah, the single's been out for the service to the underground market. For about a year now. Yeah, yeah. Just over a year, and uh, it's going to be uh, released to the masses uh, around the world. So we could say it's going to be re-released, but I think, like, even the last interviewer, he, he, um, he'd never seen the video for, for the power. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... There's still such a large market, so yeah, Reckless yeah, is, totally. uh, we're trying to hit everybody now, not just the underground scenester kids, you know. They've already set, set the, like, you know, the pathway for us, and uh, we're just trying to get our music now to everyone. Uh, so that, yeah, the release date hasn't exactly been set, but we're very close to setting release date, April, which will be... Yeah, April 25th is the, tentative. Is the release of uh, Hunger for the Power, our first single, uh, off of the album. That's a solid concrete thing that we do have. And then roughly a month or two after that, uh, you'll be seeing the album. We're good worldwide. The album's in the can, so it's done, so it's just a matter of. Shane does a lot of drugs. He's super winning, though. Is he really? I suppose it is. Uh, I wanted to catch the Charlie's Corner, which he had his own little web show for a while. But it kind of okay, I'll tell <laughs> you one thing. It was very short-lived. I, we'd, like to, we'd like to hire his... Uh, his Social networking agency. Yes. Because his his uh, online social networking is just insane. But he, so is he. <laughs> and you know, he's, what's he's, up with Emilio Estevez? That's what I want to know. I've seen though. Like Charlie Sheen, he's like getting all caught. Like you know, drugs open your mind, and uh, his mind's very open right now. And he's got friends, and they talk about things like 9/11. They talk about things like like political things and, and stuff that's going on that is fair in society and I think I think uh, the drugs have opened that side of the brain for him and, but unfortunately his credibility when you see him you know his credibility is like uh, you know his eyes are popping open and, he, and he's you can tell he's, he's he needs more love you know like he didn't he didn't get enough love and I'm sorry Mark love with that Mark, sex like you're a good dad you're a cool sex actor sex that love but like he needed more love, man, and he needs love right now. And just give him Thank love. Thank you. Well, sex with that love, yeah, it's, it's very dis disenchanting. After love. Just finished a Robin remix. We've got, uh, got, uh, geez, what else do we have coming up? That's maybe not out yet. Well, the album is the big one. It's the big banger. So we're kind of full on album mode here. Big live tour, so you're going to see all That's four right, of us of next time. Yeah. The live tour, we're going to be debuting it in London in uh, two weeks. Two weeks. The first week of April, yeah. Yeah, we're really excited to do that.